CNN data analyst Harry Enton explains why numbers are even worse for Harris than Obama said. It's really, really bad. It's so bad now that Carmela is, is going to go on um, Fox News. <laughs> That's how bad it is. That's now she's going to go on Fox News to try to convince people. It's, it's so bad now that she's talking about doing some crypto stuff for black men specifically. Um, she's also talking about she's also talking about giving a, a, a loan um, for um, black entre black men, black entrepreneurs, um, where it, it's a guaranteed loan or something. You don't have to pay it back or something, or something weird like that. And she's throwing all these things out there, knowing that it's not, even if, God forbid she become president. It would never, ever pass Congress. You can't specifically point out one race and say, hey, we're going to give you all these things. So this is just pie-in-the-sky stuff that she's selling to try to get people votes. And it's not working, though. Black men in, black men specifically are, are um, aware of what she's trying to do by rolling out Obama and having Obama chastise black men. It's not working. It's not working. So they're panicking, and they're throwing everything out um, to see out um, to see what sticks. But um, we're going to talk a little bit about it. We're going to play the clip from CNN. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. Has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my X account. So follow me there as well. All right, so let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from Red State's Nick Aroma. He reports that Democrats are now in the phase of the campaign where they're losing their minds because things are not looking great. They're throwing everything up against the wall and it's only getting worse. That's basically what I was just alluding to. I swear I never read this article. <laughs> I haven't read this article yet. Now the blame throwing is coming out. Uh, we reported on how pre uh, former President Barack Obama had a bit of a hissy fit at black men for not being supportive enough of Kamala Harris. And, you know, I reported on it as well. He then appeared to blame them for being sexist. That didn't go over well with black men or folks like former Ob Ohio State Senator Nina Turner, who blasted Obama for trying to lecture people who have the right to make their own free choice for whom to vote. You know, that's one, that they they the one main ones talking about democracy, 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 even though we're not a democracy. I understand that. But they're the main ones talking about democracy and, and, and not allowing people to vote what they want, you know, chastising people. And and then on top of that, not even having um, um, no one even voted for uh, Kamala to be the president of the Democratic nominee. So I don't they, they better not come out their mouth and say anything about democracy anymore. But now, CNN data analyst Harry Enton, I cannot say his name, is it Enton, Enton, however you pronounce his name, explains that it's even worse for uh, Harris than Obama indicated. First, he explains how strongly Trump is running with young black men. He showed the trend line for black men age 18 to 44 from Obama to Kamala Harris. So uh, let's just play this clip here. Here we go. And sometimes there's a trend line that I never noticed before and make me go, whoa, this is one of them, all right? This is the Democratic margin among black men under the age of 45 in presidential elections. You go back to November of 2012, what do you see? You see Obama by 81. Clinton only won him by 63. Then we're all the way down to Biden last time around yeah. by 53. A tremendous drop already. And then you take a look at the average of the most recent polls and Kamala Harris is up by only 41 points. That is about now, the, now, you can't blame black men for this. This is the Democrat Party losing black people because they're not doing anything to support black people. They're not doing anything to help black people. They haven't done not one thing that um, you can point to and say, hey, um, they really care about black people. They, they, this um, legislation, this piece of legislation is going to help black people. They haven't done anything. And black people slowly but surely are leaving the Democratic plantation. It's not because it's Harris. It's not because um, we don't want to vote for a black female. It's not because um, she's a female. It's because the Democrat Party has been hemorrhaging the black vote for a very, very long time. About half the margin that Obama won them by back in November of 2012. And this, I think, is, you know, when Barack Obama goes in last week when he was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, essentially talking to young black men, 
He made it seem like it was a Kamala Harris specific problem. Uh uh. It's not. This is part of a long standing yeah. trend of young yeah. black men moving away from the Democratic Party, and Kamala Harris is just the latest to face that magnitude of black, younger black men going towards the Republican. That was, was mo yeah. most interesting here is the trend line and where some of the biggest drops happened or already happened in this case. How about black men overall? How about black men overall? It's part of the same picture, you know. We're looking once again at younger black men. It looks like the worst Democratic performance since 1960, since JFK versus Richard Nixon. It's the same thing among black men overall. Again, part of a similar trend, but here actually the drop off isn't as dramatic, right? Barack Obama won him by 85. Then you see 71 with Clinton, 69. Biden, basically the same thing, holding steady. But here again, very, very weak. Only a 54 point margin. Now again, still winning him by a it's because you got a weak candidate. You've put forth a weak candidate with a weak ass vice um, vice president um, in Tim in Tim Waltz running mate, I should say, in um, Tim Waltz, and then you expect black men who's mostly conservative to vote for that? <laughs> Come on, man, be for real. A large margin, but considerably lower than what we're used to. Certainly, considerably lower what we had during the Obama years. The bottom line is Kamala Harris with younger black men and then black men overall putting in historically weak performance for a Democratic Is candidate. she getting any relief with black women? All right. So, you know, we're talking about the trend line, right? And black women, look, she's doing better with black women than she is doing among black men. But here, there isn't a trend line almost until we get to Kamala Harris. So, again, this is a black mar uh, margin among black women. Look, ba Obama won him by 93, very large margin. Clinton wow. won him by 93, a very large margin. Biden did a little bit worse at 85, but then you look here and you get a 71 point margin. Now again, these are large margins, but the bottom line is when you're talking about the base of the Democratic Party, you would think that Kamala Harris would do very well among black women based upon history. And of course she would be the first black woman president, but she's actually doing she's the not black. Democratic candidate among black women since 1960, if this holds job. And again, when you look at the numbers here, whenever you come in looking at the trends, is probably the most important thing. You got it, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sarah? She's not black, and, peop and black people know that. She's not black, she can pretend all she wants, but we got the receipts that she's not black. That black person that she took a picture with that's in her book was not her grandmother. Her, gran her real grandmother died four years before uh, she was even born. <laughs> But Obama had been up 81 points, Hillary Clinton 63, Joe Biden 53 points, all the way down to Kamala Harris at only 41 points ahead, a drop of 40 points since 2012. It's not just a Kamala Harris specific problem in this plane, but a long term trend away from the Democrats, which means they're not just rejecting her on the basis of her empty headedness. They're seeing that uh, in general, the Democrats aren't working for them and they're moving to Trump. He said it was the best performance for a Republican and the worst performance for a Democrat with young black men since 1960 when Democrat John F. Kennedy narrowly defeated Republican Richard Nixon. But there was also a problem with uh, black men in general, although not as pronounced. Harris is putting in, quote, historically weak performance for a Democrat, he explained, as the uh, as that showed the same trend, Camilla losing 34 points since Obama, only being at 54 points. On top of, of all that, Harris is even losing black women if you consider this same trend from Obama. Obama was up 93 points, Hillary was the same. Um, Biden dropped off a bit to 85, but then Camilla has taken a dive to 71. So even with, um, with many black women, Kamala is hitting a wall doing worse than any Democrat since 1960. Um, we got uh, CNN data guru Harry Inton. The bottom line um, is this. At this particular hour, Donald Trump's going to put up the best performance with black voters since Richard Nixon. So let's play this clip here. I mean, the bottom line is this. At this particular hour, if you believe the polling, uh, Donald Trump's going to put up the best performance with black voters since Richard Nixon back in 1960. Not 68 since 1960. That's 64 years ago. Among Hispanic voters, Donald Trump's going to put up the best performance for Republicans since 2004 and George W. Bush. People are gravitating towards Trump because they are tired of these po political games that these leftists is playing, we, this woke crap that we don't agree with. You know, um, and, and I think I, I can't say it any better than what Jennings said on CNN. He said that um, people, are, men in particular, are upset because um, they care more about 
dudes trying to be women than dudes just trying to be dudes and that's the fact that's what it, that's what it is they they just threw they don't they they can't stand traditionalism they can't stand the um the traditional family and we are fed up with that we're done with that crap um bottom line people of all ages and races want the same thing peace and a good economy that enables them to be successful they had that with trump but they don't have that uh don't have it now with Kamala Harris and they can and they can tell the difference. Amen. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.